Hello, welcome back. This is part two of our note editing tutorial. I loaded up a template with some instruments. So we're going to take all the music from the piano part and copy it over to that one. So one thing you can do is click right here in the staff of the treble clef, double click, and you get the first that whole line gets selected. If you triple click, everything gets selected. So we do control C change over to the other document, control V and paste and it adds the necessary measures. I did control page up to go back to the beginning of the music, control page down to go to the end. Now we need the bass clef, so do the same thing, triple click, control C, which you can also do this from the menu options in the in the ribbon. But the keyboard shortcuts are often quicker. And then press Control V. And we have the piano part in here. Notice one thing it did not do. It did not copy the repeats, nor did it copy the first and second ending here. If you do Control A, it selects everything, including text, any items that might be hidden. And if you then Control C and Control V, into your new document, it will take everything with you, including the repeats. So we've got the piano part in here as a starting point. I'm not worried about doing the greatest arrangement. I just want to do something to show you how you can do it. Be creative and make something up yourself. Triple click in the treble clef. That selects everything. We want the top note of voice one. So we should select voice one to start with, and then we select the top note or single notes, because in some cases there's only one note. Then we do control C, select where we want to put it, and then control V. Now the oboe part has the melody. That'll work pretty good, but to make it interesting, let's say we want to do something more with the melody, not just have it on the oboe. So a triple click in the oboe part, since we've already got the melody separated. I triple clicked. Now I'm using my mouse wheels uh, button and pressing the button of the mouse wheel, and it pastes it into the flute part. That's a little low for flute, so I'm going to do Control Up and we have it up the octave, which would make a nice doubling. Now looking at this part, I think the clarinet would be good to do anything in voice 2 and anything that's the bottom note of the voice 1. So first let's get triple click there, control alternate shift 2, control C, Select clarinet, control V, and we get the voice two parts in here. Triple click the piano right hand treble clef again. Do control alternate shift one, that selects voice one. And in the filters, we want to do the bottom note, but only if it's the bottom note, not if it's a single note. So we select this option, which in the default setup it does not have a shortcut key. And then if you notice the first place it shows up is the second measure. So we do control C. And in this case I'm going to do something a little bit different. Right here I'm going to click in that measure, press the 4 key to get a rest in voice 1. And when when I'm doing this selection and then it disappears, I'm either pressing escape or I'm pressing outside of the region and that clears the selection. So I select that rest. Remember I still got the data in the clipboard. I press control V and I'm using the scroll wheel to go back up. I could also do control page up and we have the notes we wanted. 
but it looks kind of funny. Some of them are in voice one, some are in voice two in there. So triple click the clarinet part, press alternate one, and that makes everything you see voice one. I like to go through to make sure it didn't leave any odd rest. Sometimes voice two rests get left when you do that, but I don't see them. There's another way to take your piano part and expand it inst into instrumental parts. If we go into the note input section, there's an explode option. So we select a passage, type explode or click on explode. Explode into how many staves? We just want two. There's a lot of options we can put in here. So we click OK and ask where do you want to you know, create new staves or use existing staves. So we're going to use existing staves and we're going to put it in the viola and the clarinet part. No, not clarinet, viola and cello. And there you have it. That'll work. Then let's take all, all of the left hand piano part. I triple clicked. I'm going to go up here, hover my mouse over that measure, and, and click the mouse scroll wheel. You may have said, why'd you do that? Well, I want the cello to have everything that's in the piano part. So having to come back in and re-edit this measure is a whole lot easier than cutting and pasting around it. So I did Control, Alternate Shift 1 to select Voice 1, Delete key to delete the notes, select the measure, Alternate 1 turns that into Voice 1, and we have the cello part as we want it. The only thing really missing in here is some viola stuff. And let's triple click. No, we can't do that. We'll tr click on the clarinet part there and we'll put it in the viola part, but let's put it down an octave where possible. So we do control down arrow. Then we'll come here, shift there, or click there, then go to the end, shift click, page up to go back to the beginning. Hover over the viola third measure, press the mouse scroll wheel, or you can control C, then highlight this measure where my mouse is, and control V, but I use the mouse wheel because it's quicker. We press the control down arrow, scroll through, make sure nothing is too low, everything seems fine, it's not quite the bottom note of the viola. And we have a very rough orchestration of this original piano part.